Hello friends and welcome to another First Chapter Friday. So today we're going to read Two Night Owl from Dogfish. Uh, and this one's a little bit different in that it actually does not have traditional chapters. It's written as a series of emails between two characters. So we're just going to read the first email. From Bet Devlin to Avery Bloom. Subject, you don't know me, but I'm writing you anyway. This could go into your spam. Maybe you're the kind of person who checks the spam. I don't. I found your email address online. You have a strange name. I've never met anyone named Avery, but that made it easier to find you. So thank you for having that name. Also, thank you for going to a school that posts pictures of field trips and uses first name dot last name at the shipfieldschool.org and gives students their own email. I don't go to that kind of school. So this is awkward, but I'm going to say it. Your dad and my dad met three months ago in Chicago at a building expo, which was at da the downtown Marriott. I'm not going to explain how I know, but they are now a couple. That isn't my business, only it is my business because my dad wants to send me to a place called CG this summer. I have never heard of CIGI. The website says Challenge, Influence, Guide, Inspire. That was cut and pasted. Those words are how they got the name. CG is a summer program in Michigan for inquisitive tweens and teens ages 10 to 15. So you could already be bored reading this email, but guess what? You are supposed to go to CIGI too. I'm not going. It doesn't matter what my dad says, but maybe if you won't go to CG either, it will stop him from trying to force me to go. That's what I was writing to you about. Bet. Devlin. All right, so let's read the synopsis. Sometimes zany, often touching, always funny, this novel told in emails and letters is about friendship and family, making the best of both. Avery Bloom is intense, a bit nerdy, and afraid of many things, particularly deep water. She lives in New York City. Beth Devlin, who lives in Los Angeles, California, is fearless, outgoing, and loves animals in the ocean. What the two girls have in common is that they are both 12 years old and are both being raised by single gay dads. When their dads fall in love, Bet and Avery are sent against their will to the same sleepaway camp. Their dads hope that they will become friends and possibly one day even sisters. But things soon get out of hand for the girls and for their dads too. And they find themselves on a summer adventure that none of them could have predicted. And their families will never be the same. So, this is one of the new books that we have in the library. So, if you are interested, feel free to check out To Night Owl from Dogfish. Good week, guys.